Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back to another Minecraft video and in this Minecraft video we're gonna be taking a look at how to make your own Minecraft add-ons. I'm gonna be using my own software for this. If you're on Android, you can use Droid Edit and let's get to the video right now. Alright, so the first thing we're gonna do is to install the app that I made. It's called Core Coder. It's huntbrock.h.io slash core coder. This is the page right here. You're gonna scroll to the bottom or you can just find the button on top here. Click download now and click no thanks, just take me to downloads. Or if you want to add tips for me, you can just add tips for me. But it's free to download, just click no thanks and take me to download. And then you will be provided with one button here. I'm gonna upload more OS later on. If you want to request your OS, just put it in the comment section below. I'm gonna upload them. And it's free, just click download. After you download that, you're gonna extract the zip and you're gonna see this is the app. It's a very simple app that I made. So we're gonna click on create new pack. And then you put in the pack name, description, and author. So for the pack name, I'm gonna just put tutorial inside. And for the pack description, I'm just gonna add tutorial pack. And the author will be hand programmer. Now there's a, several pack types here, add-ons, which is both behavior and resource, and then behavior only and the resource pack only. Behavior and resource, the difference is behavior is where you put your codes in, where you move your entities, your items, and your blocks, and everything inside the codes will be placed on behavior. If you only want to modify the Minecraft resource, you can just click on resource. But for this tutorial, I'm going to use both because I need both features. So I'm going to click on create. And if it is successful, everything should look like this. You have this tree menu right here and everything is working normally just give it a second to load it's a little bit laggy on start but then it should look like this if it is not you can see the errors by holding ctrl shift and i to open up the console panel as you can see here this is the console panel make sure it is a console and the error should be on the red side of it if it's not red then it's okay can close that again and it's everything should look like this the behavior and the resource pack should load like this if it is not you have to launch the app as administrator or you don't have minecraft installed so you have to have minecraft installed on your windows 10 machine for this to work okay so first look it's everything just very normal here can click on the items or anything to it's just simple right click and then click on create you can hover over this and there is item block or entity for now the block doesn't work and the entity doesn't work but the item should work and let's create a new item let's call it core coder tutorial one and we're just gonna put it hand equipped. You don't have to click on anything if you want to. It's just, it's gonna work no matter what you click. And you can click help this if you want to. Just gonna click create and this is the JSON file that it is created. So it's, the item will be created. Here on the behavior packs and items. As you can see it using the format version 1.16.100 This will not work for the lower version below that So I was gonna use the new one And we need the Minecraft icon component to show something So we're gonna head over to resource pack and textures And it should have this, I this file here uh, okay. Item underscore texture dot json so that's the file name we're gonna create i'm gonna click create there and it's empty 
and there is the item section we're gonna create a new um, image let's create a new image let's go tutorial one dot png and we're gonna put a width of 16 by 16 okay so that's the image size I'm gonna just draw some random things here just quickly and save it there and I'm gonna use uh, some templates here I'm gonna look up the example first A quick fix here, we're just gonna rename this to without s, so it's item underscore texture dot json. After that, reopen that, and then put a brackets here, and we're gonna put a, a resource. So we're gonna put the brackets there, and put resource underscore pack underscore name is equal to tutorial. You have to name this according to your packs, and it has to be simple. And then we're gonna put in texture underscore name. It's gonna be atlas.items. You have to follow this one very specifically like this. And then after that we have to put texture underscore data and it's gonna be brackets. So after that, so this is where you put your items textures here. So basically this file tells Minecraft what textures you have in this resource pack. So we're gonna put in tutorial one because that's where we use what we are using for our custom item, and we're gonna put brackets and put textures and then put colon again and another string. So the texture will be here, so it's gonna be on the folder um, textures items tutorial one. So it's basically just that, that is what we need, just click save on it, make sure everything is correct, you didn't miss any comma or any brackets or any column, you have to make sure to double check this, okay? So this is the most sensitive parts of programming, you have to match the symbols very precisely. So we're gonna create a new world, I'm gonna create a new world. Make sure to enable experimental gameplays and on behavior packs. We have the tutorial pack right here. Enable this and it should work. Okay, it's also enabling the resource pack automatically. I'm just gonna create the world now. All right, now I'm gonna test my item. We're gonna do slash give at b core coder tutorial one and there we have it our custom item our very beautiful custom item all right that's for it for this first ever episode of the add-on tutorial my name is han and i'll see you guys next time